Hello and welcome to the demo Intrapress Architect Papyrus integration. My name is Valery Zeredyuk. In this video I will show you how to exchange models between Intrapress Architect and Papyrus. We have two open instances of Intrapress Architect and Papyrus. The model boss server is running in the background. Let's go. We open an existing project. Here we have the following QML model. Here we have the use case diagram. Here we have class diagram. Here we have an activity diagram. And here we have a state chart diagram. In the first step, we load the model into the model bus repository. On the enterprise architect side, we use the username Dave. On the Papyrus side, we use the username Peter. The model is loaded at the following address, and our project name is this one. Let's call. At this point, we have to wait a bit. So the model is now in the repository. The chicken process has transformed the UML model of the Interpress Architect into the EMF UML2 model. As you can see, something has happened in both instances. The notification listener has notified the user on ATA site of the check-in event. And the EA adapter has created three files, UML, D and notation file. In the next step, we switch to Papyrus and check out the model from the repository. The model is now in the project folder of Papyrus. So and here's the result of transformation. Let us compare the results. So and here we have a class diagram. An activity diagram and state chart diagram. So the diagrams look like in the Interpass Architect. So to avoid conflicts in the resource, we do not save the model on the Papyrus side. In the next step, we go back to Enterprise Architect, modify the model again, and load it back into the repository. Let's do it. In the use case diagram, we change the positions of the elements, like this one. At the end, we have to save the diagram. In the class diagram, we add a new enumeration. It's called display color. So save. And it has three values red, green, and blue. In the activity diagram, we add a new activity action. It's called update display. So, few transitions. And save. In the state chart diagram, we add a new state, it's called off. And two transitions.
with a trigger on off on boss transitions. So now we load the model into the model bus repository. Commit. The model is now in the repository. In the next step, we switch to Papyrus and check out the model from the repository. Let's do it. Let us compare the results. So here class diagram, an activity diagram, and state chart diagram. So we have the same result as in the enterprise architect. Now we change the model in the papers and load it into the repository. Let's do it. In the use case diagram, we add a new use case. It's called update display. We add a new association between actor display and update display use case. So in the class diagram, we add a new class. It's called display. And we add a new property. The property is called color. And there's a type display color and we add a new association between regulator and display like this so we have to save the model now we load the model back into the repository and switch to the interface architect Here again, we check out the model from the repository or the update button. Let us compare the results. As you can see, we have got the same result as in the papyrus. At this point, we are done. The EMF UML2 model was converted into EA UML model, and we have managed to transform the model in both directions. So, thank you for your interest.